quick one for Eurosport, please? Say what? Can I have a quick one for Eurosport? Yeah, please. of course. Thank yeah. you very much. You were in the breakaway at the World Championship. Ooh, first crash of the day. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, you were there. Yeah, the world, yeah okay, I was, I okay, was, okay, yeah. I yeah. that. <laughs> Well, Rory, tell us, uh, tell us how are you this morning, morning of the uh, European Championship, how do you feel? Yeah, um, well, I'm in a good mood, the sun is shining, so that's that's great, and there's loads of people out, which is really nice. Um, obviously, it's the end of the season now, so a few tired bodies around, but um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the race. Will you attack, like you did in the World Championship? Oh, I think so, yeah, it's always nice to sort of support the... Uh, support our nation out the front and um, you know in a lot of these races you often see like the guys that go early in the break they can you know still do quite well unfortunately at the Worlds I had a mechanical but um, still there was guys in our group who are in the top 10 so you know you never know what could happen. But do you think there is a room today to, to attack early because we have seen in the other races uh, the U23 race was uh, good for the breakaway but yesterday it was really locked. Will it be the same today? Yeah I think Potentially, I think the wind is uh, is not great for the breakaway, but um, I mean there are you know advantages. You, you, there'll always be a, a hard race into the into the circuit, and we only have two guys, so we can't uh, we haven't got a big team to be in position for the circuit. So maybe just being ahead of the race can help. And then I rode the Ronda van Drenthe earlier this year, and uh, that was one for a breakaway as well. Um, although a shorter race, you know, it, it does it does suit a it suits a breakaway. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank you.